Oh, how I love the shop theme. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of Ocarina of Time. By the way, I never clarified, this is not a 100% LP. Um, but this is more just, I will get as many things as I possibly can off the top of my mind. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I forgot to mention, but there is a blue rupee back there, hidden. So, just... Another way to get money for the shield, for whoever's playing this game along with me, if that's even a thing. So now we shall destroy these, these, these enemies, uh, and get more sticks. Yeah. So yeah, I forgot to forgot to title this as Z targeting. Cause that's what it is. You push Z and it targets. So yeah. That's that, and um, of course you can put away. So now here's select item. Now basically you just you just put the, um, the cursor here over the item, and then you just push the C button that you want it to be assigned to. So yeah, if it's assigned to right here, oh, I didn't mean to save. Then I can just push right, and that'll use the stick. So yeah, and fun fact, the stick is actually twice as strong as the sword we have right now. So that's odd but yes let's head inside the deku tree and let's have fun yeah inside the deku tree so i had like an audio issue on the last episode uh it was just a range issue i guess um hoping to hoping to um fix that in this episode originally through the recording but yeah you know so basically we don't want to go that way we want to go this way up the ladder yeah. And now I apologize if I don't finish anything, because I have like a really bad habit of getting distracted in the middle of talking, and I just don't, I just end up not knowing what to say. So yeah. And so you see, oh no, look at the wall, the vine's growing on it, give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Link. So yes, we can. But see, there are spiders. Ooh. And the spiders are not helpful. They are hurtful. And there's a big treasure chest here, just in the middle, of, in the middle of the open. And so we're gonna open it, cause you know, free, free treasure, free money, free loot, free map actually. But you know, maps always helpful. Of course, in this game, it's not entirely, it's not, it's helpful, but it's not entirely, it's not that helpful. Uh, and yes, you can open a door by standing in front of it and pushing A. It's what the action icon says. Yes, that's the blue icon up there that says next right now. So yeah, that's what will happen. So yeah, ooh. I never noticed this. You can push L, and it'll get rid of the dungeon map. Neato. I never knew that. You learn something new every day. All right. What was I saying? I don't remember. All right. So this guy, you got a shield, and it'll bounce back at him. And then you got to chase him. He's like, ah, oh, forgive me, master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold the joystick forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> well, try it if you're feeling bold. <laughs> so yeah. And he left a heart, because we totally need a heart. No, we don't. But anyway. So yes, we will travel through these doors, and we will... It's falling! Oh no, we jump! And there is another treasure chest. Hooray, open it. We're just getting treasure left and right now, aren't we? Bada bing, bada boom. And we get the slingshot. The fairy, not just any slingshot, it's the fairy slingshot. Yes, and the slingshot will be very helpful. Normally in dungeons, we get a map, a compass, and a weapon, or a useful item of some sort, or equipment, or something of that nature. So yes, and, um, and you see, there is something... There's something odd about this room. You see, you can't, you can't get back because it is the door is on a cliff that is too high. But you see, there is a ladder up a top. So maybe, maybe this implies that the tree was upside down at one point. No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But yes, so we can't do anything right now. But now, if we put the slingshot on here, then we can go and bam. So hitting it with the slingshot causes it to fall down somehow so we're gonna we're just gonna roll with it with this uh with this nintendo with this with this nintendo logic and yes and now we go back here 
And so see, we had no way to deal with the spiders before, but now we can slingshot them. Bam! Yeah. And he gave me more ammo. How thoughtful. And now the game will explain that that is ammo. It's deco seeds. Deco. Deku. And yeah, there's, like I said in the last episode, there's a lot of Japanese, um, Japanese things that never changed. Alright, so, the way to aim with the slingshot, the, um, you know, the little, uh, the little, whatever that is, rubber band, whatever it's made out of, right in the middle of it is where you're gonna hit. So, that, well, at least that's how I do it. So it's just right in the middle of it is where you want to aim. Is how you want to aim, I mean. So yeah. So now we climb up here. And I remember at this point in the game, I was like lost. I had like no idea what to do. I was so confused. But worry not, I shall show you the way. Because, well, it's really not that hard. But yes, all right, here we got a big Skultula. And yeah, that's what the spiders are called, Skultulas. So hooray. And bam. But nope, that didn't kill him. I thought it would for whatever reason. But nope, it takes two hits or one hit with a stick like I explained earlier, but there was no need to kill him because we were going over here, and oh no, the door is locked behind us, so we will step on this switch, and oh look, platforms, and we're just going to skip the second one, and we're going to come over here, and open the third big chest, and final big chest of this area, hooray, treasure left and right, literally, like, come on, compass, yeah, so now we have like little, we have like a little cursor, in the, in the mini map that I can toggle, which I just found out. But yes, and now we shall head back. Oh, he got me! But yes, and this is the Deku nut, which we can we can use like firecrackers, and we can just throw them down. And yeah, ooh, another thing. Um, actually, no, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So yes, we step on the switch, and there is a platform to the left there, but there is a big sculpture guarding it. So what will I do? I will avoid the Skultula, and this is something called a Gold Skultula. We'll ex we'll get into the explanation of what they are and the point of them and everything in a future episode. But for now, we're just gonna kill kill him, and then it leaves a token, and we grab the token. We destroyed a Gold Skultula, and the token uh, is proof that we did it. So yeah, and we got a recovery heart, which that time I actually semi needed it. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore the big Skultula, and we're gonna run over here, and we're going to equip. Well, not equip, but uh, select the stick. And I did not mean to save. Gosh, I need to get that under control. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine um, in this episode. And sticks will eventually burn out if you set them on fire. So bam. And yeah, I didn't explain that. You just you can light sticks on fire, and you can use the sticks, the lit sticks, to light these empty torches. Empty torches? Is that the right word? I don't know. But now we get to destroy this guy. So here's here's showing that the jump forward whatever that's called, uh, does twice as much damage, because it killed him. So yeah, and we'll get some money here. Now, what you're supposed to do is there's a web at the center, at the bottom, if anybody noticed. And so, once we, if we jump from up here, um, which I guess that, uh, that Deku scrub a minute ago was hinting at. Oh no, I missed! No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that, he was hinting at it earlier, which I never really noticed. But yeah. And so, we got here. We got here. A, uh, another good Skotla that we should destroy. So yes, we shall use our slingshot on him. Because I don't feel like I don't feel like figuring out how to do that with the sword. And so we shall jump. And can we reach him? Yes we can! There we go. We got the gold Skotla token. Alright. And if we push this switch, then that torch lights on fire and it burns away the web. So, this place seems to be very spider themed, if you hadn't noticed. So yes, and I hear another spider. Where is it though? Ooh, spider, spider, where are you? Oh, there you are! And there's our third gold scotler. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I, I'm surprised I didn't actually make that. So now we just climb the vine. And there. So yeah. And now that we're down here, there must be a reason we're down here. Like there must be a way to go or something. So we can't make it up there yet. But what we can do is we can light the stick on fire. And jump from here to here. And bam. And now hurry up and get rid of the stick so we don't lose a stick. And there. 
And we go through this door. We have another scrub. So, bam. And we chase him. Here. Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. 23 is number one is a good way to remember it. Do you think I'm a traitor? And yes, this being like my sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, whatever time playing this game, I already knew that, but you know, some people didn't know that, so that's helpful. Always retext in games you've never played before is very helpful. So yes, we see there is an eye, and I don't know what the game developers were thinking when they thought you were supposed to shoot, when they thought that people would understand you're supposed to shoot this, but I mean, hey, it, <laughs> it worked out, I guess. So yeah, and now we have this room in here. And after you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive! Yep, 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 Navi is completely correct. Even though her tutorial is annoying uh, for people who have played this game a million times, but you know. So yeah, we dive underwater and we push that switch, and then we, we get back up on this platform. Because otherwise, if we rode this little, this little platform that is rolling over the water, then we would have hit the spikes. So now we're gonna duck, even though I don't think we need to. Uh, underneath the spikes, and once it reaches the end, we're gonna jump. Yeah, now we got another big sculpture, and bam. So yeah, yeah, and now we have the mechanic of standing next to a block and grabbing it, so we can move it around. Yes, and then if you, if you, yeah, if you push the joystick towards the block, um, and then wait for a second, then you can uh, climb it by pushing A instead of holding it. Yay, and more rupees, hooray. So, we will bring this back, bring this back, backity back, 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 yakity yak. That reminds me of an Earthbound song, but Earthbound has nothing to do with this game, or does it? But anyway, we're gonna go in here. And he got me again. I've never really figured out how to beat those guys without, without, getting a stick so yes and now I completely missed the flame so now we will light these two torches on fire and BAM yeah hit that hit that hit that lit torch link all right so now we got a heart and now we go in ah, he tricked me so mean there we go and now in this room, you can see on the mini-map that I, I'm toggling um, that there are two paths. So we will go in this path first. And isn't anything we can mess with, because there's a wall. Curse you, wall! Ah, uh, yes. Uh, another thing that will be introduced way later on is that whenever you, whenever you slash at the wall, um, it makes a deep sound, but whenever you slash at a wall that can be destroyed, it makes a high-pitched sound. So that's something interesting. Um, and yeah, now we get more more ammo. Ooh, ooh, new enemy! These are Gomas. Ooh, he almost got me. I'm targeting the wrong enemy. There we go. I got him. Gomas. So annoying. So yeah, now we light this on fire, and then we roll, 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 because it won't last much longer. And there's another Goma behind me, I believe, but we're gonna ignore him, and we're gonna crawl under this hole. Yeah. Here we go, you. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm just way too excited right now. Alright. So, now that we've crawled through the hole... Hey, look, this is the room we were in earlier, that we dropped down from, from the first floor. Yes, and now, this is that platform that we couldn't reach it before, but now, we shall push this block. Push it. Push it. And now we can climb up this platform. And now, come on. Bam! Oh, I didn't mean to get a snick. A snick. A stick. Gosh, I can't, can't speak. So yeah, now what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to push that block. Oh, no, I missed. Um, all right, so we're supposed to, you know, we're doing a lot of things with lit sticks. We're supposed to light that on fire, and then we're supposed to jump up here, 
and then we are supposed to slash with the stick and that'll burn this web and we shall fall down and into the water and so now no that's not what I wanted to do the heart no I'm pretty sure I should just swim over it yes yeah, swim over it there we go all right so this is that room where we're supposed to do two three one so two <laughs> two <laughs> um three no I missed can I not target him all right two three one and this one we are supposed to chase so there how did you know our secret how irritating it's so annoying that I'm going to reveal a secret of Queen Goma to you in order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma strike with your sword while she's stunned Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. That just reminded me. Another thing that I, um, I don't know how that reminded me, but another thing that I never, uh, pointed out was that, um, that you have all these different attacks and everything, um, but, um, one thing is that if you're, if you have your shield up, and then you can jab, and that's like, you can, you can do that really fast. That's if you want to do, like, really quick, quick blows. But yeah, quick like my name. All right, so let's uh, let's continue onward. And if you see that skull on the mini map that I am again toggling, then that then uh, you can probably guess what that means. But that means we are going to die as soon as we walk in here. No, it doesn't. But still, we are going to walk in here and witness one of the many scary things in this game. That's not really scary because of the graphics, but it would be scary if this was a recent game or. If you, if you just look up fan artwork, you can probably find some pretty scary stuff. So right now there's nothing going on except the door is climbing behind us, but hey, we see something up there at the top. So we shall push up, we should push up C and uh, to go into first person, we should look up and we see an eye, mm, a very weird looking eye, but you know, a division eye. <laughs> Never even noticed that before. <laughs> Uh, parasitic Armored Arachnid Goma. So, we are supposed to... Sh oh no! Okay, I missed it. We are supposed to shoot it with a slingshot when the eye goes red. So, bam! And we are supposed to just attack. And bam, 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 bam. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And now Goma will climb up to the, um, to the ceiling. And uh, I believe we'll try and lay eggs, if I'm not mistaken. But we want to have our slingshot ready once our eye turns red. And bam! And stunned again. And we just keep on slashing away. And bam! That's it. That is the first boss fight in the game. Congratulations, me. I have beaten Queen Goma. The parasitic, the armored parasitic arachnid or whatever it said. No. So yeah. And now we have this... This great music for uh, victory, victorious, the fanfare, whatever you want to call it. So, right behind her remains is a heart container, which means we now have four hearts instead of three. It's not like we really needed it though. So yes, now let's go into the teleport, and yes, I am kind of tooting my own horn, but who cares. So yeah, so here we go. We are going to fly, go through the light, and teleport outside to you know, the outside, the, the outskirts of the Kikiri Forest. Well done, Link. Wait, that wasn't really his voice. All right. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell ye. Would, wouldst thou listen? Wouldst? Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Very, uh, very, uh, dangerous with lightning and fire. I don't know how this guy is riding through the fire. Is he fireproof? This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile, sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods.
before time began, before spirits and life existed. Three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Farore, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of the law to the world. Spirit of law. Excuse me. Farore, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. And our reward for going through that mess of a, of a tree is... The Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat thee, Navi. Goodbye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. So unfortunately we have to end this episode off on a rather sad note. But, you know, things can only come up from here, correct? Correct? Correct. Alright, so we are going to, uh, like I said, end things off here. On a rather sad note, I'm just repeating myself. I am <laughs> not really paying too much attention to what I'm saying now, am I? All right, so I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Have fun with, you know, life, and so will I. See you next time.